Hi guys, how's it going? I am so excited to be here with Hello. my beautiful, lovely friend. You guys, any Franklin people or like Harry Eddie people? Wildcats. I mean, do you know Wildcats? Do you remember Robin, you guys? This is just so interesting because you know, you do your own thing, and this is why it's so important to just to stay in your lane and find that time to really do what you love and just, just stick to you, commit to growth, because you don't know how you're going to realign up with people, and like, here we are. Hi, Jim. Hi. Hi. Hi, Jim. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. So you guys have seen me doing a lot of Facebook Lives over the years, and it started from Periscope, but I just found myself just excited to share stories from other people, too. You know, it's enough about me, but it's like other people, too, are growing, and they're just doing stuff. Well, thank you. Yeah. Thanks, Quinn. You're Thanks welcome. for coming out. Yes, I'm so excited. Out. If you guys follow my Instagram, I like I Instagram this whole place, so it's beautiful. Thank you guys you. have to come in. It's in Elk Grove, off of the right Good Boulevard, the right off the five, across from the Apple Store. Across from the Apple Store. Yes, we do everything. <laughs> you guys, men, women, yeah. men, women. Yes, color extensions. Mm -hmm. You guys have been doing microblading. Everything. Yes, yes everything. I do microblading. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Um, I specialize in balladage, so much hair color. Yes, to me. And I tag Indian. all the Instagram, so you guys can see all the work that they do yes. on there. And check well. us out. Yes, support Book appointment today. Yeah, today. Okay. Okay. She was like, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, Hi. <laughs> We're doing two not face. Ignore the Instagram ones. Too. We have an Instagram live going hey on guys. on the sheer. No, focus on your craft. Is it on focus on your yeah. craft? Okay, it cool. Is. is anybody? Has anyone joined us? Yeah. <laughs> Who's Hi, everyone. joined us? Yeah. Hey, Carissa. All right, we have six people on here. Nelson, look at hi Nelson. Hi, hi Nelson. Oh my gosh, it's been so long. Yeah, I was like Franklin people. Thanks they're gonna for hop on. Watching. Yes. That's so awesome. let's carry on. I just want to get right to it. I am inspired from just hearing people stepping out of their comfort zone, whatever that means, right? So let's just talk about you stepping into your entrepreneurism. I mean, you've moved to a second location with your business, so this is one of your like passion projects slash business. It is. Um, so well, yeah, I can't, so yeah. I can't take all the credit. <laughs> yeah. My husband actually originally opened the salon mm. about seven years ago. Seven years ago. Yes, and this was before I was licensed. So I've been licensed okay. for about five years. Okay. Um, after I got licensed, I took over and so it just has become my baby. Oh my gosh. Yes. And so how did you, because did you have any business experience going into Not it? Not actual life experience. <laughs> um, I actually got a degree in business, okay. knowing that I was going to run a business, so mm, I kind of got okay. some knowledge there, but everything I learned really was learned just from doing, you know, just winging it and trying things out, failing, succeeding, trying it again, seeing what works, and here I am, still trying, still, still trying, but still winging still it, failing and succeeding, so... <laughs> We'll see what oh, happens. I love that. So I have to ask this question because a lot of people they see right they see the Instagrams, they see people being an entrepreneur and right. like empowering people and like doing stuff and what would you say to the people who are just the, the watch the people who are watching and you know they do they do want it. Uh -huh. You know, like what would you say to them? They're just kinda like holding back. But well, they you, want it. Yeah. You have to be willing yeah. to work hard, mm -hmm. work when everyone's sleeping, mm -hmm. know that it doesn't happen overnight. Mm -hmm. um, know that you have to fail a bunch of times, and nobody's really going to see the success while you're trying to create it. They'll see it from the outside, and they'll think it's easy, uh -huh. but it's nothing like that at all. I know. Uh, yeah. And yes. what was the? What would you say was the hardest thing? Like going into? It? I mean, you got your degree, but then the actual experience is what's Just real, the right? Actual, the failing part. Gaining the actual confidence, because we uh, really don't have a lot of experience at first, and you're kind yeah. of just jumping out there, and yes. like, okay, you just have to believe in yourself, and sometimes we don't necessarily have people around you to push you, oh, um, which I yes. feel is why I'm really into the women's empowerment, mm. and trying to network, and find a sisterhood, and building other women up, because I feel like we do need that more, and mm -hmm. I don't think I necessarily have that, oh. and I kind of want to be able to do that for other women. Oh my gosh. I really felt that and I was telling her before we went on Facebook Live, yeah, I'm inspired by this because yeah, it is a very lonely journey. It is. And yeah. you, and you feel like where's everyone else? Where's my cheerleaders or right. supporters? And you realize you have to be that for yourself. Right. And then you're you're hoping to cultivate that around you once Exactly. You yourself. I resonate Just create so much. what you want to see. Create yes. what you wish existed. And exactly. I really do believe in that. Mm. Um, especially for like, minority women. And 
and uh -huh. young women. Yes. Um, there's not a lot of opportunities out there that are just big and are clear to the eye. You sure. You have to find your niche and mm -hmm. find your tribe and mm -hmm. build each other up. And build each other up. I'm still trying to do that. You know, I'm kind of going as I'm growing as I'm going. <laughs> Wait, so would you say you've been the number one supporter? Oh, and your husband. In, well, my husband. Yeah, yeah, I can't, I can't, yeah, yeah. I can't not give him any credit. Yes, he is. Thank you. He's, yes. <laughs> He's gonna watch. Yeah, like, where, where is he? My I shot out. Yeah. <laughs> but no, here. for sure. Um, it definitely. He gave me a lot of pushes. Um, and he he always encourages me to go out there and build relationships, which I was always kind of anxious to do mm -hmm. before. So it's not just the women. Yes. You know. Yeah. It's it's the community. Yes. It's everyone. It's everyone. But, but I like to focus on the women because I feel like I, in my experience, I I can help. <laughs> yes, you can help. Who's gonna do it if you're not gonna do it? Right. <laughs> right. True. So that goes into okay, you guys. She yeah. is hosting along with a team of people that yes. have aligned up with her too. And I, I tagged it on here on the Instagram, Empower Her. Yes. Empower Her California, CA. Uh -huh. Empower Her on Instagram. So let's talk about that because that's in May. Yes. You so guys. So we, the Sheer Salt Salon, mm -hmm. um, Exquisite Hair. Hey, Tay, girl. <laughs> um, Seely Inc. It's a nonprofit here in Sacramento. Okay. We've all teamed up to throw an event. Um, it's going to be an expo for women in business to come together, promote their business. Um, network, find business opportunities. Mm -hmm. um, it's also going to be a place for, we're inviting some women to come out, um, some underprivileged women to come out and get makeovers and take some business classes and offer classes um, and just to kind of have a place where people can get together. Um, mm -hmm. It actually all started out because of a recent event, the Sacred the Brunch, thrown by Carissa. Okay, yeah, Carissa. Carissa Hi. And um, I met some women there, and it kind of just blossomed and grew into something else. So it's one thing that leads into another, and I'm just trying to keep it going. Yes. So, okay, it's in May. We don't have a date. May 20th. Well, May 20th. May 20th, 11 a.m. 11 a.m. You can check us out on empowerhercalifornia.org. Mm. Um, register. And follow us at Empower Her California to get updates and to also meet other Instagrammers and Facebookers who are planning on coming to the event or yes. if so. you're interested in attending or having a booth if you have your own business. Oh, um, please reach out to us. Yeah. Yes, there's still so there's still room. Of course, yes, so. there's room. Okay, there's I'm room. where it's as big as, as we can make it. Yes. yes. And uh, share with them how I started from like really small. You're like, I'm just gonna oh, yeah. throw so, a little yes, get together. As, it started as <laughs> let's do a pop up shop. Uh -huh. to, oh wow. Okay, now we have these artists yeah. and these businesses, and now we're expecting all these people. It's yeah, just grown into something bigger than I ever even imagined. Um, I'm just winging it. And I love it. And when you hang out to people who have experience and give us advice, and uh, we'll see what happens. We're we're hoping for the best. Yes, hoping for the best. No speaking expectations. Into existence. Yes, speaking yes. into existence. <laughs> so, like when you started planning this, you mentioned you were reaching out. Yes, I believe reaching out is the hardest part. It is. Um, yes, we've reached out to a lot of women, and actually, it's very refreshing the response that we got um, from all the women in Sacramento and in California in general who are interested mm -hmm. in networking and collaborating, or even just wanting to give us some advice or refer us to people who they know. Oh, wow! Um, absolutely, it's it's awesome. I mean, people say that women are catty, and you know that mm. they they don't want to help each other. But mm -hmm. when you're in a good, positive state of mind and you're sending out those vibes, it really does come yeah. back because people meet you on your level and they see it and it's just all left. <laughs> it is so refreshing, right? Because there is that other world where we see women are trying to put each other down so they, right. they can feel better and it's like a freaking competition, mm -hmm. right? Like what is that? What is that? So again, 
you want to, where's all the support? Right. And I just love it that I'm seeing you. Like, you know, I was like all Instagram and stuff, and all of a sudden I'm seeing Power Her California <laughs> pop up. And I was like, wait, what is this? And then I'm like, I think I messaged something, and then I found yeah, out that you, you were. Did. Yeah, you yes, did. Yeah, yes. Yeah, that did happen. Yeah, that did happen. I was like, you're, you're like spearheading this along with other people. Mm -hmm. And and, it, and, and it, that, it takes leadership to do that. You know, so if you guys are feeling alone, and you guys do you want to be in that support of like women i'm talking about women because right it's so catty I and mean, men too right it's so men can be catty. Yeah, trying to be better than the other like right. all this ego and stuff and it's like where is that environment where it's safe and so sup actually supportive and it's not like you're trying to like cut each other off right safe space like you say oh, yeah safe, safe space. space and so I I'm, I'm definitely going to be there. I'm going to be yes. like Facebook living the whole thing. Yes, place. Quinn is. Yes. You're going to have to, hopefully you won't have to watch us on Facebook, but you'll be there. Yes, but absolutely. if you can't be there, watch us. Yes. Facebook Live. Yes. We'll be streaming the entire thing. We are still looking for artists. Mm. So if you're a musician, oh. or a singer, oh. dancer, and you want to come out and help us with our movement, please reach out. Yes, and this is a non-profit event, right? So there's no like pay, like this is free, a free event, or it, you can, they can donate event. if you we, want to. We are looking for donations yeah. okay. um, for like products to give away or services. Oh, yes, yes. Hey, but we, because we are partners with a non-profit, okay. um, we are not actually making money off of the event. It's all going towards the community that we're trying That's, to help. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Imagine the people that you'll meet there. So, I mean, this is just, I mean, this is how you meet more like-minded sure. people. This is how you start collaborations because you show up. Yes. Yes, you can look on Facebook Live, but you're missing out on the connections that are waiting for you to connect with. And then all of a sudden, we want to connect open. with you. Yes, we want to connect with you. So, that is all I wanted to know. How, was this fun? How do you feel? Yeah, no, it's great. Yeah, see? I like it. Yeah. See, we want to do it again? Yes. yes. <laughs> okay, we can do it. <laughs> So thank you everyone for watching on Robin's yes, uh, Instagram. Thank you. thank you for watching. Love you guys. Yes, and please give her some support and some love. This is something that she, she we were she was like a little nervous going on. Yeah, I was. You know? I, I, yeah, I am. <laughs> it's not as bad as it seems, right? It's not. It's not. It's not. I like it. <laughs> so and hi to all the replay viewers too. We appreciate you rewatching. And so already tagged her and everything. Come support. And if you're looking for that community of women, come. And we are excited to see you guys. So, so until next Follow time. Us. Yes. Bye. Okay, bye guys. <laughs> so can we see what yes. he said? Yes.